Firstly, use a circular type cutter to strip the cable. Ensure the tool is at a minimum cut setting and trim off approximately 50 millimeters of the outer sheath. Next, separate the four pairs and bend drain wire back along length of sheath. Using a small pair of wire cutters, trim off each of the foils from the pairs to an approximate length of 15 to 20 millimeters from end of sheath. There is no need to separate the pairs at this point. Now remove the jack from the packaging and open up to remove the wire retaining block. For ease of lacing up, hold the block between thumb and forefinger, with retaining grooves facing upwards and the blue pair end facing your free hand. Take the cable and depending on wiring standard to be used, cross over pairs if necessary. Feed the twisted brown pair and green or orange pair through the apertures until the foils touch the edge of the block. Now untwist pairs and locate into retaining grooves, ensuring wires run parallel through the block. Next. Cross over if necessary and untwist the remaining pairs up to the foil, then locate into retaining grooves on the wire retaining block. Now pinch the foils together to make a neat round bundle and tightly wrap the drain wire around this bundle, up to the retaining block. It is essential at this stage to ensure that four pairs are tightly bunched in a neat form. Additionally, ensure that all wires are neatly seated in the retaining grooves. Now using a pair of small wire cutters, trim off the ends of the wires. The end of the wires on the upper layer of the block can be trimmed as much as 3mm from the edge. For the pairs on the lower layer, trim off approximately 0.5 to 1 mm from the edge. For best results, do not trim flush with the edge of the block. Now take the retaining block and locate onto the IDC housing. Press down on the block ensuring it is compressed as far as possible. Again, it is essential that the four foil pairs are neatly formed and that they sit well within the opening on the base. A quick visual inspection of the exiting wires is required to guarantee there will be no trapped wires or foils when the jack lid is closed. Now close the jack lid until the clips are fully engaged and it clicks shut. Finally, orientate the cable according to the application, then tie wrap the sheath onto the strain relief part using the tie wrap supplied. <laughs>